Next up is Mr. Charles Alexander. Welcome, sir. The floor is yours. Well, thank you. I thank you, Chairman Vitale, Vice Chair Kirk Kick, uh, Ranking Member Dennison, and the rest of the committee. A um, little bit about me first. I have an earned doctorate of electrical engineering. I have an honorary doctorate of engineering. I'm a life fellow of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. I'm a proud emeritus professor of electrical engineering and computer science at Washwitz College of Engineering at Cleveland State. I'm also an unpaid advisor to the E-Generation Foundation. I believe in and fully support the objectives of the E-Generation Foundation and have been a part of it since its inception. As an engineer working in the power and energy field for most of my career, I understand the need to pass bills such as this. I have spent 45 years working in the power and energy field. I am an internationally recognized expert in this area as well as others. The very first research center I created is in the area of power and energy at Tennessee Tech in Tennessee. Since then, I have created and run a variety of research centers most of which deal with areas related to power and energy. I've achieved recognition as an author of 30 books and more than 500 paper professional and technical presentations. I've also had the honor to serve as the international president and CEO of the IEEE, Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, which is the world's largest technical and professional organization. We, the U.S., currently have a total energy independence for the first time in a long time. This means we now have the energy needed to fully develop the nuclear industry for the future. And energy is the key for everything we want. Having the best possible healthy environment, working conditions, and quality of life, among other things, can only happen if we have virtually unlimited clean energy, the clean energy offered by modern nuclear energy. This bill details the many applications that need to be developed to fully make use of all the positive applications of the new nuclear industry. The molten salt reactor technology addresses many of the shortcomings of current nuclear technology. It represents the ability to burn up nuclear waste that currently need to be stored. It represents the ability to scale reactor technology to expand significantly more uses than the current technology. It will provide the ability to generate the medical isotopes so desperately needed as older technology is taken offline. It also will generate the isotopes to allow NASA to establish a lunar mission, a Mars mission, and many more space applications. To succeed in all this, we need bills like House Bill 104 to create a positive environment in the state of Ohio. Currently, what exists for the most part discourages the development of a nuclear industry. We must change this so that industry itself is free to move us into the future. I have another 15 pages if you want. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Vice Chair Kicks here all night, so. <laughs> Any questions from the committee? Representative Stein. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Thank you for your testimony. You obviously have a, a breadth of background in this field. In, in, a, in, a, in as short a way possible, how could, how does House Bill 104 and, and how do we as a country, a society, uh, move this forward? We, we've seen a rapid growth from the dozens of companies in the United States alone who want to develop, like Elysium as an example, uh, this new technology, yet we seem to be mired in the mud, so to speak, with how we move that forward. Uh, obviously, our attempt with 104 is to, to do that, but 
uh, in a broader sense, what do we need to do as a state, as a nation, to make the public aware of the importance of this technology and what it means to our country and potentially the world? Okay, now that would take a few hours. I, I suppose answer. so. But <laughs> the important thing I think each generation started out to address basically addresses that. And that is regulations that are in place now need to be changed in order to not force but create the opportunity for industry to invest in and create this industry. And, and each generation has been working very hard toward that. And I think House Bill 104 addresses that issue too. Um, we just really need to create an environment where the nuclear industry is allowed to grow and develop. Any further questions? Okay, seeing none, thank you very much.